Oh, okay. We got it. We got it. All right. Welcome everybody again. <laughs> this is Launch Your Inner Maya live webinar series. We have put three classes together uh, for you guys. And today's topic is going to be, I have taken my first malfunctional therapy course. Now what? So we're going to start by introducing ourselves. Uh, my name is Renata Nami. I've been a dental hygienist since 2010. I no longer uh, practice clinical dental hygiene. I am now doing my functional therapy most of the time and airway circle full time. Um, and I recently just hired a new um, therapist for my practice. So we are growing and it's going super, super well. Uh, and I cannot wait to be able to share you guys what I have done in my journey to get to where I am today and to help anybody else that would like to um, to grow on their practice and professionally and in their career. We're on every circle over here. We're all about growing. Everybody that's around us, we want you to grow. So um, I'm serious. If you guys stick with us, um, you're going to grow too. So there's my little family, my husband, Zach, and my kids, Zoe and Benny. Zoe seven, she's doing expansion right now. And Benny is two. Um, he's going to need expansion for sure. And I am going to pass the mic over to Tamara. Hi, um, I am. I was just looking. I saw Dr. Uh, Nora Zaghi said, hi, friends on Insta. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> no. Hey, yeah. Nora. <laughs> um, so I am in Southern California. I've uh, been a dental hygienist. Uh, since 2010, I'm not the best at math. Um, and but I do know I've been a myofunctional therapist for about five years. I've taken multiple introductory courses. Um, I have started facial physique, and it was tricky, honestly. And I've always wanted to help others kind of navigate everything. And so I think this is just a really good course. I wish it was available. Um, when I started, um, and I've been with Airway Circle volunteering for. Damn, what? they cannot hear you on Instagram. Just turn your volume uh, off, but keep your mic on. There. Okay, go good. ahead. As we yeah, switch. Okay. Um, and I've been with Airway Circle volunteering with them for, I don't know, eight, nine months now. It's gone so fast, but yes. Definitely a place you want to be um, for growth, a lot of knowledge, and yeah, looking forward to meeting everybody and being able to see how I can help you grow. You there, and <laughs> My turn now. You can hear me, right? Okay. So, Angela Rich, I've been practicing dental hygiene since 2000, but I've been in the dental field for eight years. And uh, slowly but surely, I'm getting out of the dental office. And uh, I started my own myofunctional therapy practice two years ago. And I have taken uh, the QOM course, the COM course, Myo Mentor lots and lots of other courses that you will see popping up that are very popular for uh, myofunctional therapy learning. Um, I feel like I'm a perpetual student and I find absolutely nothing wrong with that because there is just so much, so much information for us to gather as healthcare professionals that we can offer our patients and our clients. And you'll hear us using those uh, two terms interchangeably. Um, normally in myofunctional therapy, we uh, use the word clients, the term clients, and in the dental office, patients. But either way, um, you know what we're referring to. But I've taken so many classes and I just uh, completed it uh, through the Breathe Institute, the Breathe Babies course. So I have a lot to contribute that way too. And it just confirmed a lot of what I had been learning in the, in the prior couple of years. So just being able to incorporate, create, um, my own type of, eval of evaluation for so many of, for my practice. I just want to share everything because it has taken me a very long time to gather all of this knowledge and information that Renata and Tamara and I just had, had been talking and we just thought, yes, we have so much information. We just want to share it. Can we save everybody else what we went through? Yes. And that's what we want to do. But in my picture there, uh, my husband, uh, a retired Marine, 
I have um, the, the, the one in the light blue shirt. He's our senior graduating from high school and will be attending the University of Virginia in the fall. The one in the Virginia sweatshirt, he's a sophomore and the tallest one in the family. And then the younger one, he's an expansion, 12 years old, and um, just, you know, the, the fire of the family, the, the light of our lives, just so much fun. We are so glad to be here and we're so happy that each of you are here to join us on this, on this great adventure of learning. So um, any questions that you have, we, the, between the three of us, you will get an answer. I'm muted. Okay. I just realized that you're not on Instagram, so they cannot hear anything you said. <laughs> Tamara and I are sitting there. We're joining. They're like, hi. We're like, we're not talking. <laughs> we're here. Okay. So this is day one. You have taken your first course. Now what? What do you do? Uh, we're going to share with you guys a little bit about how we all felt after we take we had taken our first courses and which course. Um, we took. So how differently did you guys feel after your first mile course compared to after you graduated dental hygiene, right? In <laughs> dental hygiene, we took patients for two whole years and we are just, you know, all of us in the dental field, we are so used to having guidelines and having a protocol and having uh, a path that we follow, you know? You should use these scalars first. You should, can you guys hear me? You should do the, you know, prophylas or whatever it is. You know, you use your PS or your ultrasonic scalar. At this time, we're just so used to following uh, a guideline that whenever we are introduced into this field, we're like, oh, now what do I do? How do I start? Where do I start? Which exercises do I give them first? How do I even know? Um, so we are here to kind of, uh, you know, help you guys, uh, break down a little bit better. And, um, day two is going to be about, you know, having confidence whenever you're making your treatment plan. So I'm not going to get too far into that. Uh, but today is just about how we all felt. So the first course I took was with, uh, Mary Billings and Diana Davidson with the IAOM, uh, in New York. Uh, and let me tell you guys, a friend of mine went with me to take the course and she got us an Airbnb. And, you know, I've waited my whole life to take this course because I, I studied nonstop for two years. Uh, I've taken courses in uh, some universities in Brazil. They offered some online stuff. Um, so I did all of that and I read a bunch of books until I was ready for my first course. So I thought, okay, I'm going to take my first course and I'll be like ready to see patients right afterwards. So a friend of ours got this Airbnb. I walked into the Airbnb. It smelled like cigarettes so bad. And I'm extremely, extremely sensitive to cigarettes, extremely. And I'm looking at her and I said, this is the course of my life. You know, we have spent so much money to travel all the way to New York to be here. I don't want to be you know, mean, but I can't sleep here. Like I can't sleep here. I don't know what to do. But I didn't want to be mean, so I stayed. The first night, of course, I couldn't sleep at all. I was up all night long. I could not breathe. It was absolutely awful to the point that I just, you know, stood out of bed, laid, uh, sat on the couch and booked a hotel at like four o'clock in the morning, picked up my stuff. And I, you know, she was up then at about six. And I said, okay, we just, we got to go. to. I don't care. I'll pay for the hotel. We got to go. I can't do this. Um, I got so sick from that one night, so sick that I lost my voice completely, completely. Last day that we were there, day number four, there was a storm. So they canceled our flight back home. And my friend turns around and she says, I'm leaving in the middle of the last day. And I was like, what are you talking about? She said, they canceled my flight. I have to go. And I said, this is the course of my life. I can't miss, you know, the, the last half of the day. There's no way. And she said, sorry, I'm gone. And she got up and left. And now I am left by myself in New York without a hotel room and without a way to call anybody to be able to change my flight because I had no voice. Oh, my so, gosh. 
<laughs> it was awful. The challenges that we go through, right? So I had a message my husband and my mother-in-law, and they're trying to call Delta, and Delta's not, you know, changing anything for them because it's my ticket and I have to talk to them. Um, it was very scary. It was um, awful. But finally, um, thankfully, my cousin lives in uh, Brooklyn, and I was able to stay with her that night. We actually went out to dinner to a super fancy restaurant talking to these two um, business guys that were friends of hers. One of them owned a CPAP machine, a company. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to talk to you. And I couldn't talk. It was awful. Um, <laughs> but anyways, um, it got me to all right, where I am today. I feel like those challenges that we go through are super, super important for, you know, for us to share. But I was so excited to take that course and I put so much expectation into it. And the first two days, you know, are uh, pretty much anatomy, uh, which we all need a good, you know, uh, refresher on. But Mary Billings kept looking at me going, just calm down, Renata, just calm down. We're going to get there. I'll tell you how to treat patients because I kept going like, okay, how do I treat? What do I do? Like, I know the stuff. What do I do? <laughs> um, so I left that course going, okay, I feel like I'm not ready to even see one patient. I felt like I was okay seeing a uh, habit elimination case. Because the way that Diana taught us, it was like step by step. This is what you do with a habit elimination case. So I had something to follow. But everything else, it was just so much information, which was amazing information, but impossible to, to digest. We, you guys all know in four days. Um, so after that, I thankfully I had a very um, supportive dentist who let me speak to patients who let me uh you know talk about all of this stuff uh and I started seeing you know friends and family and, and a couple patients all for free uh, but it took me it was not right away it took me some time until I felt uh like I knew what I was supposed to do uh but we're going to stay here for three hours if I tell you guys about any of my other courses <laughs> so girls do you guys want to share how you felt after your first course Sure. Go for it, Tamara. Okay. And um, I have to come on Instagram. Oh, yeah, so they can hear. While you guys yeah, figure that me. out, I can chat. Um, so I remember trying – I went to a – Nicole Goldfarb was actually the one who got me interested um, for my functional therapy because she did a continuing education thing with one of the hygiene – I think it was the Hygiene Society here in San Diego. And I was – really interested and in mo mostly because I had all those things. And so I came home and I remember Googling my functional therapy and I could not find really much at all. And so it was really difficult. I know it's totally different now and there's a lot more courses, but the one person who, who did come up was Sarah Hornsby. So I, you know, got on a call with her and took her course. And in the middle of that, I also didn't want to miss out on the AONT coming to San Diego because before then it was only a four day course. And you could only, you know, in person, there was nothing online. So I actually took them kind of side by side. And I remember just having what Sarah taught me and what the AOMT taught me. And they were similar yet different and trying to mesh everything together. Um, it was very overwhelming. And I remember just having the big old book that the AOMT gave me. Um, I still have it actually. And it's, it's amazing. But to know what to do with that knowledge and actually implement it, I was kind of like, uh. And I know both of those courses are totally different now. Um, they're much longer, a lot more involved. They've grown exponentially. Um, but that's just where I was at the time. Um, and they were amazing. I mean, since there was nothing in there. Um, uh, and so I'd say the biggest challenge probably was just trying to figure out how to treat a patient. It was a lot of trial and error. Um, on the business aspect of it, it was like, oh, oops, I probably should have had this. Like before I started, it would have been a lot easier to have you know, my, my bank account set up the right way before I even started seeing anybody and taking money and, and figuring out all those like intertwined things. So um, it's easy now to look back and go, okay, do A, B, C, D, and E before you do F. And so that's what I really want to be able to share with people because it will take a lot less time, a lot less time and a lot less searching for that to happen. So um, I am fortunate that I come from a long line of entrepreneurs. So I've had my family help me with a lot of this. Um, and I feel like I, I forget that it's not common knowledge because that's just the way I was raised. And if I could help 
anybody else um, have that, that would be amazing. So my earphones just decided to use this. Can you hear us still? Oh, can you hear us still? Uh, for Tamara, yes. can you hear us, Tamara? Uh, we're going to try again. Can you hear us, Tamara? Testing, testing. <laughs> can you hear us okay? Just go ahead. I think everybody can hear you. Angela, I'll message her. Go ahead. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Um, Gosh, the first time that I had heard about myofunctional therapy was at a Virginia Dental Hygienist Association uh, annual conference. And I want to say it was Pat Pine. This was a very long time ago, over, I don't know, 17 years ago that I heard her speaking. And it was very, it was a very quick blurb. And this was when we were stationed in North Carolina. And I um, came home. And I just told my husband right away, um, I told my husband right away that I, th I think I want to do this. I really feel like yes. this is so exciting. I really feel like this is, wow, I, everything that she was saying, I could relate to this, you know, but I always thought that I chalked things up to just being a mom or just little things, but Fast forward um, to when my husband retired, between that time frame, I was able to read about myofunctional therapy. I was able to absorb as much information as I could. And then of course we have another child and deployments and life in general. So just reading as much information as I could, absorbing as much information as I could. And then we retired to Virginia and I, we, we figured out, okay, this is the right time. I mean, is there ever a right time to do anything? Well, you just have to jump right in and do it. So I signed up for the um, IAOM course and uh, I traveled down, drove down to South Carolina to take the course, four day course. And it was a great introduction, lots and lots and lots of information. And then I came home and I'm like, oh, well, but what, well, how do I do this? And how do I incorporate this? And there was a lot of information about the whole head and neck and everything that goes with it and exercises. And, but how do I start a business? How, how do I get my first patient? How do I tell my dentist who I work for that I want to go ahead and look for the scalloped tongue? I want to do these things. And it was just never the right moment. And nobody really would listen to me. So I'm like, okay, what other courses should I take? And then I found Sarah Hornsby and I took her course and that was an amazing course as well. Amazing. And I was able to implement a lot of what she taught us in that course. Um, and I was able to implement that into what the IAOM taught me. And then uh, all of these other little mini courses that I was able to take in between um, and conferences, and I was able to really pull everything together. Then I recently um, took the uh, Neo Health QOM course with Sandra Holtzman, and that was also amazing. The, the thing that I just want to gather from all of those is just, it's all in the brain, and I just want to, you know, vomit it all onto paper. And I have done Please that don't. piece by piece. <laughs> I know I will. And it's just, um, it's, it's what I have been doing. And yeah. when I shared this with Renata and Tamara, and they took it as well, or they have, you know, created their and implemented their own way of running their practice, we just started bouncing things off of one another. And we're like, why don't we share this with everybody? Why can't we just share this with everyone? Because so we we've our, looked, yes, we've looked at each other's, um, evaluation form and we go oh I didn't ask that oh that is so cool I wish I would have known to ask that so that's pretty much what I want to share with you guys the excitement that we had whenever we were looking at each other's stuff going because all you know the the unique thing about uh this course is because each one of us has taken something different and many different courses but all different courses I think the only course that all of us took there was that was the same with Sarah's maybe yeah but everything else that we have taken it's different so we are all coming from all different angles i want to know right here on the chat on both chats 
uh, Zoom and Instagram. How many courses have you guys taken? Collaboration is so important to go and flourish. That's why we really wanted to put this together for you guys. Uh, and, you know, there's never going to be a point that you're going to feel like there's not anything else to learn. Uh, I had somebody tell me the other day, she's taken, I think, three courses. And she goes, I'm not doing that because I, I, there's nothing else I can learn. And I'm like, oh, actually, there is. <laughs> there's always something we can learn, right? And we really, really learn from experience. And there's no course that, that teaches that. Um, so how do you talk to your patients about this stuff? How, what to do with all this information that you just gathered? How do you approach your doctor? Um, how can you learn and still feel like you're doing the right thing for your patients, right? Let's keep going over here because it's 8.35 and we're going <laughs> to be here forever. So this is, uh, we're just going to bring to you guys a little bit of what's going to be in our course. Um, so we're going to go step by step how to start a business. So if you have not done any of this yet, we have recorded um, step by step of how to get a business license, how to get an NPI and an EIN, um, you know, what to do with your banking. Have you, you know, thought about that? Do you have a bank account in your business name yet? Are you spending all of this money uh, in your personal account? It's super important for you to to separate that. And if these things are implemented in the beginning, whenever you get to the point that you're comfortable taking patients, you don't have anything else to worry about. As soon as all of this boring stuff is out of the way, and we're going to help you guys with all of this, you literally can focus on learning, focus on joining Airy Circle every Thursday, 8 p.m. <laughs> with our free uh, lives that we do. Uh, and just learn, learn, learn. Um, do you guys want to talk a little bit about what we're going to teach over here? Uh, yeah, sure. I want to answer this one, um, a question right here from Diana. She says the business license in Canada or just the United States. I think that we are unfamiliar with how Canada works. So it's the business license that we know how to use and, and contribute for just the United States. Tamara, Renata, do you? have anything about Canada? I'm so sorry. I don't. Uh, I don't necessarily have stuff about Canada, but even in the United States, it's like showing you how to navigate either your town or county. It's all, it's different even within the United States where you live. Exactly. But so we're sharing, we're sharing with you guys one way to do it. This is if you go on this state's website, this is what you look for. So in your state, it's going to be slightly different. The website is not going to look the same. But there is a guideline there and like, you know, words to look for. And um, it's a step by step of how to get your your business license. But it is going to be slightly different everywhere. Um, Danelle is ready to start another course. Look at all these courses that you guys have taken. This is amazing. It's great. Yeah. We're going to give you guys uh, recommendations for courses that are good. Yes, uh, Anila. So at the end of this, uh, course that we oh my goodness Sharia is taking five you go girl I, that. I know wow oh, too many Jen said uh, but at the end of this we are going to share with you guys the courses that we have a little bit more in depth of what we learned in the courses that we have taken um, so like that you guys can pick another one to take um, so yeah do you know do you guys know how to write uh, send a secure email you know you got to make sure that it's uh, HIPAA compliant and it's confidential that you know whatever you're sharing uh, referrals you know with photos and stuff like that that everything is as secure as it can be um, do you guys have an EHR what is an EHR girls the <laughs> electronic, electronic health record, health record. <laughs> Tamara you talk about simple practice yeah, so simple practice is one that we found to work really well. So I'm able to kind of share some of my information on that um, in this class. Um, but there are others. I don't want everybody to think like simple practice is the only one. Um, but it is definitely, I know how to use it really well. I know how to teach you how to use it really well. And so if you decide to use that one, it's, it's an amazing system. But just automating everything, 
automate, automate, automate makes your life much easier. I just had someone message me today saying, how do you do this? And figured out, she's like, oh my gosh, this is life changing. So I was like, oh good. That's exactly what we want it to be. We want it to be, you know, to take a bunch of a load off of your shoulders that you don't have to do that anymore. And it just, everything goes really smooth. So there'll be a little bit in the course about simple practice and, um, you know, how to do the secure email uh, with Google and other things. So lots of, uh, lots of information. That's why it's so long. <laughs> um, also, we have, a. Co- oh, we're going to get there. So I'm not going to say that right now, but um, we do have, um, well, I am going to say it now. We do have a couple of people uh, that we have invited. So we have some guest speakers that we have invited and they are teaching uh, portions of, of this course here and there. It's like some, you know, bonus classes for you guys. Uh, and one uh, dear friend of ours is Christina Bridges. Christina has helped me so much when, uh, when I started, like with the legal stuff. Uh, she started, she helped me so much when I first started. And um, so she's teaching a couple uh, sections for us. Um, that you guys are really going to enjoy. And we also have a trademark lawyer. Uh, some of you that are uh, Aries Circle members might have seen that special that we had with a trademark lawyer. So do you guys have a logo? Where do you go to get your logo? How much money should you spend on it? So we have experts in this field that are going to talk, come and talk to us about. We have Justin, our website guy, and he's a branding and logo, a design guy. He's going to come and talk to you guys what to look for, what colors to use. Um, Did you guys go to the right places to make the search, to make sure nobody else has your name, how to pick a good name, you know, um, who should you hire to do these things and how much should you spend on these things? Does anybody have any questions about that so far? Do you have a website? What are different places that you can, you know, where can you build a website? Should you pay for somebody? Should you have a landing page? Um, These are all really, really important things. I actually have a course that I took and they gave you on a landing page. They give you exactly what you're supposed to have on your landing page. Um, Step by step, exactly what you're supposed to have. So whenever somebody visits there, they have all the information that they are looking for without even knowing that that's what they are looking for. Um, So I think I still have that. I can share that with you guys. Any questions, um, Angela, from the chat? Uh, actually, so there were some questions um, that were being asked towards Tamara about. Are you on Instagram too? Yes, I had muted myself over there. Thank you for reminding me. Um, but I had uh, read a couple of questions here about simple practice, and both Tamara and I are answering um, about uh, the camera quality and which one is better and uh, between Zoom and simple practice. For me personally, I've had, and actually yesterday I had a client um, who said, oh, do we have to use Zoom? I really like your simple practice quality better because I can, I can see your tongue better. <laughs> so that's, that's been my experience. I know that the quality on simple practice has just been pretty flawless. We're putting a request for simple practice red filters. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, that'll be nice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it looks like I mean, who? It, if anybody has questions, please, please, please type them in here. We'll be, and if we missed something, then please retype it. Is the business license the same establishing an LLC within the Secretary of State? No, no. You you usually need to get a business license separate from your LLC. Um, a business license just means that you can run a business in whatever location, even if it's online. Uh, but also you have to kind of follow the guidelines of uh, if it's a, in the city limits or the county, whoever is in the jurisdiction, I guess that's the name right, um, of where you live. Uh, let's see. Lost and then Renata, the yeah. LLC, um, Christina Bridges in the course can help with that too. Right. Like you're talking yes, about. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Christina breaks down a lot of that stuff in the course that she that she does for us. Uh, Jackie is saying, Tamara, how do you like simple practice telehealth? I feel like oh, that's the one yeah. I read already. Angela. Yeah. Next yeah. one. Wow. Who do you establish LLC with? An attorney or a CPA? You know, it's funny. I see that question pop up a lot. 
Uh, I did it on myself. Be a part of the the course. Mm-hmm. I yeah. did it on myself. You don't have to pay anybody to do that. Yeah, Christina really helps break everything down. And if you guys need help, if you're in the course and you need help, we'll help you guys to get everything that you need. Uh, Cherie saying I'm struggling with simple practice. Tamara has a fantastic course. She guides you step by step how to set everything up and how to use simple practice. And if you are a Network Circle member, you get a pretty nifty discount. So <laughs> we, um, and somebody just said over here that she's also taken your course, Tamara, and it was great. Yeah, I know. That's sweet. Uh, so for any questions, guys, make sure that you, uh, let's make sure that we, we answer the questions that we ask them. So Instagram also knows what's being asked over here on Zoom. Oh, good point. Thank you. What's next? Uh, internet connection. So one thing that I tell all my patients to do, you can go on Google and search um, internet speed. And I tell all my patients before we meet for them to check their internet speed. So you got to check your upload and your, your, and your download. Uh, and those numbers are very different. Um, one of them is like, it can go from a hundred to 300. It can be a really big number. And the other one is like 10. Um, but it's very important for them to check their connection and their internet speed, because whenever people have to understand, and I'm super annoying when it comes to my photos that they need to send to me, if I'm not going to see a person in person, if it's going to be completely online, I actually have, I just put it up there. I was going to show you guys the I'm going to get it because it's really good I put together a couple of forms that shows all the pictures that they have to take and I send that to them it's all automated and I can show you guys how to do that uh, but he has examples of exactly what I need and if I get a photo that's not good I will ask them to take it and retake it until I get something that I can see I cannot do a proper um, evaluation if I can't see something very well. So that goes exactly with um, the same um, for your internet, your therapy session. If you can't tell what kind of muscles are moving, if you can't tell what the patient is trying to do, um, you know, it's not going to be great. So they have to, to check their internet connection, you know, maybe get closer to the router, maybe uh, do something a little bit different, turn all the Wi-Fi off in the house, but um, it's important for the, the internet connection. And even you, you as a practitioner, you know, call your internet provider and see what you can do to increase your speed, what you can do to make sure, I think behind me, you can, no, you can't really see, it's right behind me. I have like these extra boxes that connect to my router and uh, increases my uh, range all over the house. So it becomes a little bit easier. Uh, there's Go a ahead. question from Danelle. Oh, uh, okay. Um, will this full course discuss in-person and virtual setups? And the answer is yes. We will be discussing virtual and in-person and we're gonna go in depth with both. Yes, um, Jackie's also saying that she's having a hard time uh, screen sharing her PowerPoint presentation on simple practice. Um, if you guys take uh, Tamara's course, she actually has a Facebook group uh, that she answer, answers questions over there. If you have any extra questions about simple practice, you take her course one. And how long are you allowed to stay in the group, Tamara? Uh, the group is free forever. It's just oh, that. Wow because of the updates with simple practice you uh, in the actual course, it's two months. Mm -hmm. Also, because I want you to be able to like do it and be done with it and get the urgency done with it instead of like, oh, I'll get back to it type of thing. So yeah, perfect. There's a perfect. Support group. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, awesome. Uh, I don't see any questions on Instagram. If you guys have any questions, let us know. Um, all right. So logo, trademark, website, we're going to talk about all of that. How about your office? After uh, you've taken your first course, uh, where should you start seeing patients? Who are my first patients going to be? Um, there are so many forms. What do I choose? Uh, do I have to take measurements? Do I have to ask all of these questions? I know that from the courses that I have taken, 
um, I've, you know, they've given me a couple of different uh, evaluations, but some of them are so long. And I was like, oh my goodness, do I really have to go through all of this? So we are going to discuss a little bit of that in our course. And we're just going to share with you guys what we do, what we have decided, you know, after taking all these courses, after gathering everything that we find it's important for us and for our patients, the way that we do things. Uh, but we're not going to be telling you this is how it should be done. We are literally going to tell you guys, this is how Renata decides to do it. This is how Tamara decides to do it. And this is how Angela decides to do it. This is for you guys now to have three different ways of planning a therapy session, planning an evaluation, um, having examples of all of these forms that you need and to take all of that and make your own. You literally can print everything out and figure out what you like, what you don't like and make your own. Any comments, girls? I really had a lot of fun creating my videos, um, uh, uh, the ones that I have already uploaded because um, yes, it's awkward to sit there with nobody else in the room and talk, you know, and speak for 45 minutes to an hour and then be like, oh, wow, I hope I didn't forget anything because it's not live and nobody, well, a lot, we will have live Q and A's and everything and we'll have live sessions and such, but- um, Are you on Instagram? No. Of course I'm not on Instagram. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me, um, but I'll repeat it. But yeah, so um, it, it is a little bit funny when you record things in advance and then, you know, you just, it's so much, um, it's great because you just get so much information, especially with the slides and such that you're going back and forth. So it's just like going to a conference and just learning, 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 but you can also rewind pause and rewind and play back and watch it as many times as you can. Um, and uh, I really look forward to the live Q and A's that we're going to have too, because uh, then we'll be able to just discuss anything and everything that you want to discuss, everything and anything. So write down all of your notes when you take these courses and you go through um, each module and such. So um, I really love the questions because then you can really, really express your experience. I've had a patient just like that, or I've had this happen to me before, or yeah, I got that rejection. Uh, and, and this is what I did. And this is what worked. And, you know, some things may work, some things may not work, but you never know until you give it a try. We have another question or comment. Jackie says, I guess that's where I'm at. I have so many examples of compa valves and still trying to figure out my groove to know what I actually need. So this course helps you um, kind of formulate everything and pick what you want from each one of us. And I mean, you will always be evolving. We're still always evolving as you you know learn more things. This this field is growing exponentially. And so um, the nice thing is you're, you're part of a community of professionals who just want to help support and see each other grow. Um, so. Don't get too overwhelmed with all of that. Definitely. And that's the thing, you know, uh, you can, you're going to, you guys are going to be able to bring everything to us, all your questions, all your concerns. And even after you've taken, you know, those modules, you can ask us, okay, but I'm still having an issue with this. Can you help me kind of figure out? Yes, we are here to really help you guys. We want to see everybody that takes this course. We want to see you guys flourish and you guys get so many patients and become so successful because there is such a big need in the field for my functional therapist. We all know that. So we want to help you guys kickstart, you know, kickstart your practice and make sure that you are completely ready and confident and you have your team and you have literally everything that you need to, um, to see your patients confidently and, and um, help so many people. That's the whole point where we're doing this is just so we can reach more patients. Uh, I'm going to show you guys really quickly what I put together. So I send my patients this. It's a little form that I made. And now I have it in. Angela got me <laughs> into this uh, to get a uh, laminated machine. And I laminate everything now. I'm addicted. <laughs> I, love I love it. I love it. It's so clean. <laughs> It is so good. So I actually, and I have a little video that I show on the course of how I have my, um, the place where I take photos. Uh, I have an issue in my office in, uh, that I don't have a, a wall, a big wall here because it's above my garage. So everything is kind of 
Um, there's not a, a big wall where I can have, you know, well, people take pictures. But anyways, I set up a place right there that it works perfectly. So if you have an issue like me, you guys uh, will be able to find out how I do it and you can do it too. But then I have this right next to where I take the photos and I literally, I'm just looking and taking the photos. It makes things so much more efficiently. Um, so I already have over there, you guys can see both of the cameras, uh, exactly the photos that I need. And if I'm seeing the patients online, I send this um, ahead of time and they know exactly uh, the photos to send uh, back to me. Uh, but anyways, and these are a couple other things that Angela has uh, put together and I copied her because that's what we do. We copy what other people do super well. So whenever we're talking we to the share? patient, so yes, I'll we can share. kind of share. Um, that's beautiful. Are, I like those colors, so Renata. Isn't that good? I love this photo right here. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Instagram, you can't see. Um, so a couple <clears throat> things whenever you guys are doing your evaluations, if you like showing things, if you like doing our point, we're going to share all of that with you guys. You know, we were so worried before. <laughs> a couple hours ago, I was messaging the girls. I was like, oh my gosh, we don't have enough to talk about. <laughs> I've got five minutes. Let's see, your office, what else? In the beginning, your investment doesn't have to be huge. You will spend more money to get the business and legal stuff done. We recommend doing that to get it out of the way so you don't ever have to look back. You know, whenever you first start, do it the right way so you don't have to worry about it. Um, you will spend some money to get that stuff done. But when it comes to clothes, you know, uh, you can keep wearing your same scrubs as dental hygiene. You don't have to change any of that. Uh, PPE, we still use gloves, mask, face shield, lab coat, anything else PPE that you guys can think of. No, I use a lot of disposables, but that's not part of the PPE. Uh, let's see. Um, no, uh, yeah, gloves. Um, what else? Uh, we're going to sh share everything um, that you need to put together in an office. What should your office look like? Uh, not necessarily what your office should look like, but what our offices look like. What we have decided to put on the walls, what we have decided colors that we decided to paint the walls and why um i cannot wait to share with you guys the way that i organized my tools i just found this <laughs> and whenever i was a hygienist i went to the hinman and i took a course on uh organizations how to organize the office and i came back and i organized the whole office that i uh, the dental office that i worked at so i, I love doing the type of stuff and i just finished um putting together mine over here. Did I take a photo to show you guys? No. Um, I have some stuff in the way, but let me take a photo to show you guys. The way that I have, so I put on the wall, I'll share a little bit with you guys. It's gonna be on the course, but I put together and it's on the wall. I don't know if you guys can see, I can't see myself on Zoom. It's too uh, bright. It's um, oh, it's there you go. Flash. There you go. So there's a um, laminated list on the wall of my tools, and there are all of my tools. They're all in clear. Very easy to see. Very easy to order. Um, I can't wait to share with you guys. And then I have this beautiful basket that I put on top that I have my bags in there. So I have, I make my bags and they're pre-made and they are right in there in that beautiful basket. It's just easy to grab and go. And if there's one drawer that's, you know, going down, it's easy for me to look at it and know exactly what I have to order. Uh, when I have to order, it is up. Sorry, it makes my life super easy. Anyways, yes. we have a couple of questions coming in. How okay. long? Uh, did it take for you to grow your practice with a steady income? Great question. That is a great question. I guess a lot of it is when you are in the red, of course, that means that you are um, underneath your budget or, you know, you've spent an, more than what you have earned. So I guess it all just depends on what it is that you've spent in the very beginning, how much you're going to spend on your furniture and all of your supplies and everything that goes with it. But um it just depends on this the 
the, the patient load, I suppose, with the mm -hmm. steady income and uh, how you set up your, um, your uh, patient time. Will you see patients every 30 minutes, hour, things like that? So I guess it, it will just really depend on that. We will go more in depth on, um, on about scheduling and, um, and really building that part of it. Um, let's see, another question is, how long did it take before you made close to or more than hygiene salary? I guess that's all geographic because um, yeah. just yeah. I was and, uh, making $30 an hour as a hygienist. So yeah. two days of my functional therapy, I'm good. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, me in California here. <laughs> It's different. A little bit different. <laughs> Absolutely. <different. laughs> so, but yep. I think it also has to do with networking. Like you have to network. So yes. there's a lot of variables and all of that. Um, and everybody's a bit different. You know, it's kind of what you put into it. And I think it was like rule of thumb, like it takes five years or three years or something to like, really, how long was that? Renata, we were talking about that before for you to like make back what you put into the business sometimes. Can you hear me? Uh, so, yes, we can hear you. So, it's all going to depend on your referral base. The mm -hmm. last module of this course, we go into um, local and social media marketing. How can you make sure that those referrals are coming in? And how can you make sure that those patients are coming in? There's two different ways of going about that. You can go, I can hear myself for some reason, guys. I don't know whose volume is up. I can hear myself. But um, you can, there are people out there that literally get all their patients from social media. There are people out there that literally get all their patients from local referral. Um, you have both options and you can also do both. So we are going to show you guys how to get patients from both places successfully. And since we have a plan for you guys to follow, uh, all you have to do is follow. And it's very likely that patients are going to start coming in. So if you, you live in a place, you know, there's no excuses. If you live in a place where there's uh, nobody locally that wants to listen to you after you have tried everything that we have recommended, you can get all your patients from online. There is a way to do it and you can be successful doing it that way. Um, but we are going to, show you guys exactly how to do it. Um, what else? Clear container, Cherie. Yeah, it's the best thing ever. Um, how soon after taking the, your intro course were you seeing patients? I took my intro course, I think it was August. And I already had a couple patients that I was eyeing uh, in the dental office. And there's, I wish I remember exactly how long after it was. But I started with a six-year-old little boy, and we started with the Mayomanchi, and the mom was super supportive, you know, and immediately she was like, oh my goodness, if we can do anything to, you know, avoid braces, I would love to listen more about this. And I took care of him, um, you know, at no charge, and um, we did everything we could. Of course, I wasn't great at it. Um, but it's funny because she messaged me not long ago and they've moved to like Texas. I think it is. They don't, they're not local anymore. And they found uh, an airway dentist now where they live. And she was like, oh my goodness. We told our dentist that we have done my functional therapy in the past. We're so excited. They were so happy that we have, you know, been through all of that. And he has all the concepts of the, you know, tongue on the spot and the nasal breathing and it's. It's really helped in, but uh, he still needed braces. <laughs> Not braces, but expansion. Because they did, nobody did expansion here. And obviously, the myo munchie wasn't enough. But having the, the background of myo that he did was amazing. And uh, it was super gratifying. So even though, you know, it was uh, a patient that we didn't charge. Uh, and we had a bunch of challenges because I didn't have an office yet. I was at a dental office. He would come when I was you know, uh, not doing hygiene for me to just see how he was doing. I was still all of those things learning. What am I supposed to do now? What exercises should I give? What am I really looking for? How does evaluation should look like? Um, and all of that, but it's super gratifying. Girls, want to add anything? 
What type of business license do you need to practice OMT in your own private practice? It's just a business license. I don't know if there's a yeah, specific time. regular business license and then um, insurance, which we do go over that too in the course, different options for insurance of owning a business. Perfect. Let's see uh, so ahead. dentists, dental hygienists, and speech and language pathologists work underneath um, their active license. Hey, Ange, I think you're muted on Insta. I sure am. <laughs> I think I think mine might have been doing that echo. That's why I keep muting it. Yeah. But um, I'll repeat that. So it's the dentists, dental hygienists, and speech and language pathologists who can practice underneath their license. Yeah, this business license is just for you to be able to have a business, run a business. Some places do not uh, require you to have a business license uh, unless you have like a certain amount of sales or unless you're uh, you have people come in into your place. I mean, there's there's different, you know, you have to see what your local uh, authorities <laughs> require, I guess. Um, let's see what else. Um, what do we have here? Lighting. We're going to go over lighting, photography, patient education, the lemon. Is that how you spell laminator? <laughs> Yes, you got it. Yeah, that's correct. Yay. <laughs> Office supplies, what do you need? You know, the things that we use to educate our patients, where do we get them? Where's my other one? Here, I have another one here. That the I had a um, wonderful, I love this patient, but she took my, she broke my tongue. <laughs> oh. I have to try to put it back, but it's good because now I can show the patient. The tongue should go all the way up there. <laughs> Um, but you know, all the different things that, that we have, what should you buy? There's going to be links for everything that we are going to show you guys. All you have to do is click on the link and go purchase it. It's going to be super, super easy. We want to make your life super easy. Um, what else? Photography, a lot of photography. Um, do you have to use a expensive camera? I got mine right here. Do you have to, um, can you do it with your phone? Should it be a business phone? Should it be a regular phone? Uh, we're going to keep going because it's already past nine. I didn't see it. So how is the course going to be? We are going to release two modules a month. There's nine modules total. It's going to be self-paced, but we highly recommend you guys doing two modules a month because we are gonna have um, live Q and A's with Tamara, Angela and I once a month for us to go over those modules that we just had. Uh, and we can also teach extra stuff during uh, that time that we are hanging out, we're talking, you guys can ask any questions. I mean, literally, if you wanna ask, you know, about a patient that you're seeing, we're gonna answer. So it's, it's all about helping each other. Um, so self-paced, these are all recorded webinars. Uh, and the three days of lives that we're doing right now are also going to be available for you guys in the course. The course, cost of the course is $12.99. Um, and we have um, a couple extra things that we're going to offer uh, for those who, who get the course. Um, night, day one, day two, and day three. Uh, comment section in each module. So every single module, there's a comment section on the bottom that you guys can get help. Um, all the time over there. You can just post any questions and we're gonna, you don't have to wait until the live Q&A. That's what I mean. If you need a question right away, if you need an answer right away, you can post it right there. Will you also review exercises for patients that you guys like to do? Yes. Lots of bonus guys, lots and lots of bonus stuff. Will you share links and details on what you sent to your patients in their goodie bags for exercises? Some. I'm not sure if all of them, but we're going to share a lot of them. Uh, so I talked about the guest speakers earlier. Launcher Inner Mayo has expert guest speakers to get you started with launching your Mayo business. These guest speakers will give you the ins and outs, offering advice on the do's and don'ts. That's by Angela. Thank you, Ange. You going to add anything to that? <clears throat> I have to keep remembering, uh, yeah, the, oh, the guest speakers, oh my goodness, you'll just, yeah, I don't want to give away anything, it's just, it's great, it's just great, it's always did great. See, did you guys see how that just went? Um, I didn't do that, but I'll, I should have done that when every slide, I like that. <laughs> 
So what else are we going to share with you guys? So you're going to have three different evaluations. So Angela is doing an evaluation and she's recording it for you guys to see how she does it. Tamara is doing a full evaluation and you guys are going to be able to watch exactly how she does it. I'm doing, and I, I might do an in-person and add over there an in-person and an online uh, so you guys can see exactly how, how differently also I do it. And you guys can pick and choose whatever you would like. Whoops. Uh, three different therapy sessions, same thing. Every, on every module, we literally separate. This is how we do it online, and this is how we do it in person. Um, favorite tools. So there you go. We it, each are picking three tools that we like, and we are sharing all of the exercises that we use with those tools. Um, and one of my favorite tools is uh, the tool that I use that I got from one of my... Uh, <laughs> courses in Brazil and look how cute I'm going to show you guys what I have to keep my tools I got this pencil uh, cases from and they're clear like everything clear from uh, Amazon and I put my little logo on there and this is where I keep my stuff if I have a patient that comes in person I give them one of these two you know I have a bag you can keep all your extra all your tools in the bag I give a lot of stuff and it's sometimes a little bit too much I think <laughs> compared to most people, I need to cut down. Uh, but then if they have this little case over here, they can put the, the tools of the week right here. So like they don't have to carry the bag around with everything else. They can just keep their little case with um, uh, whatever they need, if they need anything for the week. But this is one of my favorite tools. I use this thing for everything. If you guys have seen my patient, my famous uh, young patient on Instagram, um, I, um, one of the, I use this a lot with him and in four visits, we got all of those crazy results I'm telling you it works. Even on circle time, I shared with Robin Walsh, what I use that tool, how I use that tool. And she was like, why do you do that? Like, I need to know why do you do that? Uh, but anyways, what else do we do? Uh, much, much more. We can't tell you guys everything that we're going to teach over here because then it's not going to be that fun. Uh, let's see. There's back to the so much. There is. There's so much, but it's all amazing stuff. Um, so we would like to give you guys, for anybody who would like, there it goes, that's day two. So day one, for anybody who would like to sign up for our course, it is $12.99. Um, you will get access to Airway Circle membership until the end of the year. Uh, you will get access to Circle Time for four months. Circle Time is our study club. We meet once a month. And Circle Time is amazing. It's literally all about experience. It's sharing cases. It's sharing exercises. It's sharing what we do, how we do it. Um, so if anybody would like to get the course tonight, that's what you're going to get with it. You guys want to add anything? Should we add anything else? That's really generous. I can hear you on Insta, Ange. Ah, <laughs> I said, yep, that's really generous. <laughs> it is. Right. Yeah, it's, it's worth a lot. It's a lot. Well, we're going to get Angela put the link in the chat oh awesome there you go the link for the course is right there on the chat if you guys have any more questions that we can answer please let us know uh again i actually had a whole powerpoint presentation on sleep um how sleep affects school performance that i was going to give to you guys tonight because i didn't think we're going to have enough to talk about but uh maybe i'll leave that to day two or day three if we have time um, do you guys have any last questions before we go? Because it is Friday night. We want you guys to, to go enjoy a little bit. Anybody wants to unmute? You can ask questions about Maya. You can ask questions about our courses. You can ask questions about um, this specific course. Anything you'd like to know? How long are you going to have access to it? I don't know. Here's a question. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure I'm not muted on Instagram. Is there a discount code to register for the class with all the things you're offering? No, I will know if you register for it. I'm going to go ahead and give you access. 
Um, as soon as you register tonight, I'm always on my computer. Um, my kids are probably going to be asleep, hopefully, by the time I go inside. So I'll still work some tonight. And I'll go ahead and give you guys access to um, Airway Circle membership and Circle Time membership. So we already have four Circle Time meetings. You guys can go back and listen to if you get this course um, tonight. What if we're ready in all of those, Cherie? I'll send your gift, Cherie. You deserve it. <laughs> I signed yes. up. I'm in. Are you have? <laughs> yep. Woo! All right. Uh, I have your address, don't I? Yes. Yes. Awesome. And if I don't, just PM me your address, and I'll send you something. Do you have some brochures? Do you have brochures? I, yet? I, I have one of each right now. I just ordered all that. I just got the shirt and um, whatever I just ordered. I just did order. Okay, I'll, I'll figure something out to send you. Yes. Um, if you guys are already on both, I will send you guys some brochures or a t-shirt or some airway circle stuff. You know how, how we guys, how we are. We like to, to give a lot of stuff away. But I don't want to take any more of your time. Thank you guys so much for uh, being here. Leslie, just airway circle. So talk to me. Just message me. Say, we're not. I'm already on this. I'm already on that. Can I get... Guys, ask me, can I get an extra month of circle time? I'm going to say yes. I'm easy. So just ask me whatever <laughs> you want. <laughs> Seriously, just ask me and uh, I'll probably say yes. <laughs> okay, whatever you guys would like. Of course. Anybody else? We're good. Everybody on Instagram, if you did not sign up, go on the link on Linktree right now. It's the first option. Put your name and email over there so you can get these recordings. I'm going to delete it right now from Instagram. You're not going to be able to come back to it. Oh my gosh, we're getting tons of hearts on Instagram right now. I'm sorry, Zoom can't do that. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys. Have a wonderful night. I'm so excited. So many people showed up. You guys just, are amazing. Yes. I just posted the link right in the chat for our uh, link tree. So there's two links in, in there now. One for link tree. And that's pretty much the only one you need because it has everything that you need to sign up for there for Airway Circle. But then above uh, above everybody saying thank you is uh, the link directly to launch your inner mile. But you can find that on Linktree. You guys are amazing. Very interested. Currently still in my mile course. Would like to finish before starting this program. Thanks for all the info. Of course, Vivi. Um, how much longer do you have in your mile course? Let me know. I would love to know. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful night. And seriously, we're very reachable. Uh, messages on social media if you need anything. And uh, tomorrow we're going to be we are going to be presenting to you guys a new team member on Airway Circle. I'm not even. I know she's here tonight. I'm not even sure if she um, can join tomorrow. But I just made that announcement. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys would like to know who it is, does anybody want to guess? Whoever guesses, get the t-shirt. Okay, you guys. Okay, right now. Did we talk about doing the Instagram? Take a photo of us on Instagram right now. Tag us. Tag Airy Circle. One, two, three, and Instagram. Uh, tag. I need to do one. Oh, hold on. Uh, <laughs> on Airy Circle. Um, and if you guys private message me who you think is our new team member, you get a t-shirt. All righty. Have a wonderful night. Have a great Thank weekend. You so much. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Don't miss it. Tomorrow's going to be good. All about therapy. All about therapy and evaluation. Come see us. <laughs>